Hey up, welcome back, Benny Vapes here with another review. So today, what we're going to be looking at is an item I picked up for this review, and it is the Aegis Boost Plus. So, as you may know, I didn't have a very good experience with the original Boost, because it just didn't work. Um, there were a piece missing out of it, so I thought I'd give Geek Vape another try, and I'll get the Aegis Boost boost plus so what we're going to do is we'll go down low we'll have a look around it we'll see what it's all about i'll show you the menu then we'll come back up and we'll have a little bit of a chin wag about it so i'll see you in a minute
Right, so we're back up top looking at the Aegis Boost Plus from Geek Vape. So, what do I think about it? Right, we'll start with the pod. Over here, we get a 2mm pod. The pod is in America and non TPD compliant countries, it's 5.5mm. Fantastic. We get it as a 2mm pod in Europe with this big stupid black bung in it that you cannot see anything inside so you put your juice in it you can't see the juice level hold it up to the light you can't see it so what i did was is i thought right it needs to come out do not whatever you do try to get a screwdriver in and try to broadle it about and twist it out because what you've got inside the pod is underneath that is a layer of rubber that seals your coil if you damage that it will leak pour juice out all over the place so just be aware of that i will put a little bit of a video on now to show you how to do it without having to broadle it so you do put a screwdriver underneath there but i'll put that little bit of a video in but please be aware that if you do that you will then break the seal that will make it not vacuum sealed anymore and it does tendency to leak out of the bottom so i'll put that little bit of a video in and you can have a look and then we'll uh, Come back and talk a little bit more. See you in a minute. Right, so as you've seen, it is easy to prise off. It is only glued. Prise it off, but like I say, just be aware, it will leak. So do that at your own peril. You can buy different pods for it. Not available, they're on pre-order. But over at Sourcemore, they have got them on pre-order. And you get one pod, which is 5.5 with two coils. For, I think, they're about £9, £11.99. Um, or you can get two pods and they're at, I think they're the same price, $11.99. But they are on pre-order, so you can't get them yet. So I will be getting another pod, because obviously I've damaged it, we're trying to get it in with my screwdriver, um, and it does leak, and obviously you've done the air vacuum, so it does sweep out round the sides a little bit. Also with the pod, if you do catch that, it can be quite easy to pull out. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to push that out, with it being a bigger pod than the normal boost. It doesn't take a lot to press that to bring that out. So sometimes I find that if it's knocked in the van when I'm carrying it around, that I look down and the pods popped out. So just be aware that you might get that. Other than that, it is nice. It fires really, really well. Fantastic flavour off the coils. I can see why everybody loved the original Boost the coils. Flavour's fantastic on it. I do like that you've got the big adjustable airflow there and you can tighten it down and you do get not a full on restricted mouth to lung but you do get a quite half and half between a loose and a restricted open it up fully and boom Plenty of air there, direct to lung heaven. It feels nice in the hand. You can adjust the brightness on the screen and it does show up well, as you can see. You can change the colours, you can do your bypass, you can do your temperature control, you can do your temperature curves if you wanted to do that. You can have it in wattage. You can lock the screen, you can lock the fire button if you so wish. It is a nice mod. It does feel nice in the hand. I don't think you'll be disappointed with this one. You don't have the problem with the other one because you have still got the micro USB, but it's an external battery. So you can take the battery out, which I do advise, and put it on an external charger. But you're not going to have the problem where you're going to break the 
USB and it's it's goosed. You know, because once that's gone on the internal battery, you can't charge it up anymore. Which this one, it's got the external battery, you can just put it in your battery charger and it's good to go. I have a 30Q in it and it lasted me nearly two days at 25 watts, which is really, really good. You're not changing your battery all the time. I like how they've kept the original design of taking the top off. You know, you can get the two drip tips, you can put your own drip tip in it because it's 510. But I prefer the little whistle tip rather than the round one because the round one on it is quite uh, rough. It's not a smooth plastic and it feels quite rough and I particularly didn't like it. So I've kept the whistle tip on it. The problem I had with this one was the battery door. That is really, really stiff. So if you do find you've got problems with your hands, some people are saying they don't have a problems, but I find it really stiff and it's got an o-ring on there so just be careful that that o-ring doesn't move because it is just pushed on and it comes off and as you can see that when i got mine i went to put it back on again and it came out and you might be able to see that it's actually started to split and that's because it had moved when i went to put it back on and as i'm putting it back on it got chewed up on the threads and I couldn't get it in so I had to wind it back out again and found that that had curled over so just be aware of that that you can't it does come off really easy does that sometimes it doesn't catch when you put it back on that I find that it doesn't catch straight away and it's a little bit of a fiddle to get in I'd have preferred to have a sliding door like the Aegis Legend as and the Aegis X where you just slide it over lift it up put your battery in push it down jobs are good and I like the fire button it does fire straight away so all in all I am impressed with it just a couple of little things that annoy me on it that are just on my personal preference you might not be bothered about them but a two mil pod you can't see a thing out of it so just be aware of that that you are looking to see if you can get your juices so you're testing the coil and it's gone dry other than that it's nice it works well it eats well it feels heavy and for the price of it you know you're looking at probably about probably around about 35 40 quid for it i don't think you'll be disappointed takes the external battery and the coils are really good on it so i hope you found this video informative you can find me on twitter you can find me on instagram you can also find me here on a Wednesday for DIY Mixing with Benny and Friends. You can find me here on a Sunday for NUVS. All at 9 o'clock and all, at this, all on this channel. I will put a link to a video that I think you might enjoy. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.